Hello, hello. Hey everyone, all of you amazing Love Nation people. Today we are talking about a very important topic and I want to hear some feedback from you. I want you to let me know if you're dealing with this. So today we're talking about the truth about rebound relationships. Um, if you, you may not be in a rebound relationship, maybe you have experienced one. Maybe you, had, maybe you have been in a rebound relationship or you was a rebound relationship for someone else. So we're going to talk about that because this is something that happens very frequently. And a lot of times people aren't aware that they are in rebound relationships and you know they think that they're over that other person and they're ready to move forward but there's a lot of um, things to be exposed about rebound relationships hey everyone hey Alicia hey Tracy Junius Valerie Linda good to see all you amazing people thank you for joining me live um, and this video will also be on YouTube. Hey to all the YouTube people that are watching as well. So we are talking about the truth about rebound relationships. Rebound relationships. Let's get into it. So first of all, let's talk about what is a rebound relationship. Basically, a rebound relationship often happens shortly after a breakup. So it's usually after you end one relationship, um, shortly after you enter into a new one. And oftentimes you can be deceived into believing that you're over the last relationship and you're ready to move forward and you may feel like yes this this new relationship is the one you may even feel like you know you've hit it big and that and, and they are everything that that other person wasn't right maybe you know they're doing all the right things they're saying all the right things it's like a uh 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 what a breath of fresh air <laughs> it's like yes i'm living life and it's right after a really tough breakup um whether it was a divorce or maybe it was something infidelity something that was really painful and so what happens is when you when you're in a romantic relationship and it ends and it's painful normally like psychologically you your mind is like relieve me of this pain i need to get out of this pain and so usually you may not be aware but you're really in a very vulnerable emotional place in your life and when you're in that place you can you're, you're in a very weak place and so oftentimes a rebound relationship is like your strength that rebound relationship becomes like it's, it's like a hope for you and it's and it and it and, and where you're weak is fulfilling that area and helping you to be stronger okay but the thing about it this is this is what this is what you all need to realize. The reason why so many people fall into rebound relationships is because they don't want to face the grief of the breakup, the past relationship that comes with a lot of grief. They don't they don't want to face it. They don't want to face the rejection of it. They don't want to face the the pain of that other relationship ending and so to avoid all of that to avoid the grief of the ending relationship and the pain and the rejection they'll jump into a new one and it usually happens fast and everything is moving fast and everything feels great fast and and this is how it, it happens this is how rebound relationships happen and people that get into them it's it's a fast paced type of thing and so 
what you need to be aware of is that it comes with a lot of unhealthy consequences. And so I'm going to get into these unhealthy consequences because you really need to be aware of this and you may not know this and how deep it is and how you can just really fall into the rebound relationship and later on you see that that was the perfect opportunity for someone to come in and manipulate and to come in and really take advantage of you and now and and also get into a place of dependency even more so i'm gonna get into that um i'm gonna first post this link because i want to remind you guys tomorrow is the live webinar so if you haven't registered i just put the link in the comments section for the getting over him webinar getting over your ex webinar you want to go ahead and register for that because after tomorrow after the live webinar um the price will double right now is only a 9.99 webinar it comes with the e-workbook hour-long live video and q a all right so i had to say that but so rebound relationships right here are the unhealthy consequences of the rebound relationships number one emotional dependency so what is that now you're in a place where you're depending on this person to meet your emotional needs. Not only did you just get out of a painful relationship and you're hurting and you're trying to get over and you're trying to heal and you're trying to move forward, but now you are also emotionally dependent. So you're looking to this person in this rebound relationship you're looking to this person to fulfill you emotionally now get it that you just met him that you just started the relationship that things are moving fast right and now in this brand new relationship now you are expecting them to fulfill you emotionally that's where it gets unhealthy also you become more vulnerable of being manipulated so let me explain rebound relationships when you jump into them you don't really know them for real because everything is moving fast but you may go on dates with them and you know spend a little time with them and in this like a dream come true it's like it feels so great it's like a fairy tale it's like Oh, everything is just so wonderful. I'm glad I'm not dealing with all the drama from the ex because you're not truly over them all the way, you know, because it just ended. And you don't just get over people. Listen, this is real. Like when it comes to relationships, romantic relationships, where there's intimacy, um, all of that everything that comes with the romantic relationship spiritually mentally emotionally physically all of those things you you're not just you don't just break away and it's over have you heard the term and i'm many i'm sure many of you have heard of soul tied and it's like you may not be physically with that person but spiritually there's still something there and maybe when you think about them it brings up a pain inside or bad feelings or sad feelings or regrets you know so so you're dealing with all of this and then you enter into this brand new relationship this rebound relationship and you set yourself up to be vulnerable for manipulation why because what you're feeling in this new relationship is clouded you know somebody say you're on cloud nine you're on cloud ten you just your head is in the clouds or or love is blind you're blind to the truth because it's like a, a it's like it's 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 an illusion of something that's that's not real because it's just new and you haven't had a chance 
to really get to the root of what that relationship really is and who that person really is. And so somebody that comes in who's an expert manipulator, an expert faker, they can put on a face, they can, you know, deceive you into believing they're one way when they are really another. And so they put on this face and they uh, show up as who they believe you desire for them to be. They say all the things they think you want to hear and you fall for it. You fall for it. And because the relationship is so fast, but guess what? Later on, you realize, oh, you wasn't who I thought you was. And you know why? Because you were still healing. You were still getting over that last relationship. And so you set yourself up to be vulnerable and to, to be manipulated. And then here's another thing that's unhealthy when it comes to rebound relationships. Um, you increase your fear of rejection. So here's the thing. You might feel rejected from that past relationship or whatever happened in the past, right? You may feel rejected. You may feel, you know, all of those those emotions like I don't trust I don't I can't trust I, I don't I, I feel abandoned they just left me you know you have all these feelings so when you jump into this rebound relationship and you get yourself caught up in them guess what those feelings of rejection they increase those feelings of I can't trust they increase those feelings of I feel abandoned they increase so they increase even in the rebound relationship. And so when you are in this, e this rebound relationship, it's harder for you to trust. It's harder for you to feel safe because you still haven't gotten through what you just got out of. So yes, yes, I love that scripture. Raymond, thanks for sharing psalms 55 21 his words are smoother than butter but war was in his heart and you got to be careful because they're and that's talking about manipulators and manipulation and how the you know some people can come to you very flattery you know they tell you what you want to hear they they're real smooth with it everything seems so good and so right but really their heart isn't right and it takes a while for you to really get and know the heart of a person because they're going to show you their best face they're going to put on what they believe you want to see they're going to do whatever it takes it's like a, it's like applying for a job and going through the interview process you know you're gonna you know put on your best face you're gonna get ready you're gonna get dressed you're gonna do everything you believe is going to win you the position and that's the same thing when it comes to a relationship and starting a relationship it takes a while to really get to the truth of that person okay so let me go ahead I gotta tell y'all because somebody sent me they inboxed me and I want you guys to still inbox me I just put the link again for the webinar we start tomorrow for the webinar sign up someone inboxed me they had a question um, in regards to being in a rebound relationship and so basically they said they are currently going through a divorce, which means they're not fully divorced. They're going through a divorce, but while they're in that process, they met, she said, I met a guy, he seems nice. Um, she said they haven't really went on an actual date yet and he wanted to have a physical moment the second time he saw her. And she said, um, when do you think it's appropriate? And then she said, he seems to want to be in a relationship quick, seems a bit pushy as far as spending time. How would you handle this? So first of all, feel free to drop your advice in the comment section because I know y'all give good advice. But I want to say first and foremost, 
she is not done with her marriage. She says she's going through a divorce, which means you're not divorced yet. So as far as getting into any relationship, you are setting not only, not only, you know, some people look at the moral. Yes, definitely, right? Morally, you don't want to jump into another relationship while you're still married, okay? But let's just say, let's just push that to the side and let's just say she's not looking morally, right? I don't think she realized how much that can hurt her emotionally, mentally, spiritually, how much, how much that can corrupt her own character and the way she sees herself and her own value of herself. So this is why it's so important that we really need to pay attention to you know, our feelings, what is going on, what is causing you to want to be in a relationship or even consider to being in another relationship while you're still going through a divorce, while you're still married, while you're still dealing with that. I'm sure she's dealing with a lot of emotions of rejection, of fear, of hurt, of abandonment, of trust, whatever happened in her marriage, right? And so she's trying to get some relief from all of that. And so this relationship seems like it could be a good idea. But I think deep down inside, this is why she's asking the question, she knows that is really not the best decision for her. So I would say when you get out of a relationship, work on you. Learn to grow inside out as a person. Evolve as a person. Become the best you ever. If you're going through a divorce, that can be the perfect time for you to thrive and be in a, a healthier, happier, more abundant you. Whether you're going through a divorce or not, is nothing wrong with working on being a better you. How can you heal? How can you thrive? How can you become healthier? What are some of the new activities you can do? Maybe you can start, you know, treating yourself to dates and or, or working on a goal you want to work on, getting in the gym or, you know, coming up with some new recipes healthier for your health, you know, taking a vacation, you know, and, and it's so much that you can do. You don't have to go and lean on to another person and get into a rebound relationship and set yourself up for more toxic energy. You know, because the best thing to do when you get out of a relationship is build yourself up. And the reason why I say that is because as you build yourself up, you are going to attract better into your life. You're going to know how to take your time with people and really get to know people. You're going to appreciate the patience and the endurance that comes with being a better you. You don't have to jump into another relationship. You don't have to depend on another person to give you happiness because you will find that within. So that's my advice. Don't even go there. Don't even go there. This person is rushing you into a relationship. They know that you're going through a divorce. Why are they rushing? Because people who are toxic don't have the patience for you to, to wait for you to find out who they really are. Now I'm going to say that one more time and I hope you get it and I hope you get this in you. Why do people rush? Because people who are toxic don't have the patience for you to wait and find out who the real who they really are. Because it requires real patience to really discover a real person. It requires you to hold off a little bit and to have some boundaries and to not to give your all, not be so quick to give your all to someone who is there to get a quick fix there because it's like lust lust happens like that it's a fast quick thing and then when it's over it's over and they're done 
but real love is a gradual process they're they're willing to build a friendship to really get to know who they're dealing with because someone who has value in themselves who's not trying to manipulate who's not trying to deceive to get over just to get get up on you know just to, to get what they want out of the situation the right person is going to want you to even prove through time that you're the right person for them because when you're in a healthy relationship that's what it's about it's not about quick fixes so anybody that's she said that he's pushy uh-uh stay away <laughs> stay away and and i apply this to every area of my life not just you know romantic relationships or friendships but even when it comes to business anybody that's pushy anybody that's really pushy and pushy that's a clear sign oh i must go ahead and take my time thank you but i prefer to just see things out for a minute thank you for you know your help but i'm gonna I'm gonna I'm analyze some things for a while you know i'm not gonna make a quick decision right now i prefer to you know get to know you get to know your company get to know your mission get to know your vision get to know your purpose get to know where you're headed before i invest in you before i take some of myself and, and invest it into you that's what you're doing in a relationship you're taking some of yourself and you're investing it into another person and some people, they give it all. They take all of their self and they invest it into a relationship. And guess what? Sometimes it's not a good investment and they don't get a return, but they're left empty. And then they're looking for someone else to invest in them because they're so empty. But you got to learn how to invest in yourself and build yourself up so far that you even know your value and it is reflected and seen by everyone that's around. All right. So I want to just encourage you guys on that rebound relationships. Stay away from them. <laughs> They're not helpful. Okay. Again, I want to thank you guys for watching. I had fun today with you guys. I'm posting again the link to the webinar. The webinar will be closing. It's live only tomorrow. And you want to get in because it's only $9.99 to register for the Getting Over Your Ex webinar, Getting Over Him webinar. Sign up. It comes with the e-workbook. We're gonna, it's gonna be amazing. And I'm super excited about it. All right. All right, after tomorrow, the webinar will double in price and it won't go back down on sale to be that regular price, all right? Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Tag your friends, share the video. I'm so glad that we connected today. Let me know what you think about rebound relationships. I wanna hear your advice. I wanna hear your thoughts. Have you been in one? Inbox me. I want you to inbox me. If you have any questions, you're going through something, I wanna hear from you. Thanks for watching today. I'm going to hop over on Instagram. See you next time. Bye.